Alright, welcome back to the Java programming series. This is the third video. And now that we've got a clip set up and we know how to program in it, we're going to go into a little bit more in depth into variables and things like that. So, we'll create file, new, Java project. We'll type basic Java. Hit enter. Right click it, hit new class. And we'll type basic Java. Alright. So, now we'll go ahead and set it up as usual. We'll type public static void main string args. Alright, so, you may be wondering at this point what this means. I'm not going to explain it in full, but I'll tell you that it creates a method named main, which is what Java needs to run. Whenever it runs, it looks for the method named main and then it runs that. If you don't have one, you're going to get errors and that obviously won't be good. These are just things that kind of define it and uh, this up here just tells it basically it's a class, you know, what it's doing, what the class is called, so forth and so on. Um, this is passes arguments to the method and if you're not sure what I'm talking about right now, that's really not a problem. Probably shouldn't be explaining it anyways because it probably won't make sense to you, uh, but later on we will get more into it. If you're just wondering about why we type that, uh, don't worry about it, and just keep on typing it. Uh, it's kind of just a brainless thing that you do at the beginning of everything you create. So, I'll open and in, and we can type system.out.print line. This is our, what is it, third Java program. Alright, so as you can see from last time, we can just run it. I forgot to put a semicolon at the end. We can run it and it'll display down there. Now, we know we can print out text that is stored there, but we can't actually store this to memory. What we could do is if we wanted to print this out multiple times, we could copy and paste this a few times or just print it a few times and paste it or uh, paste it a few times and have it print out over and over again. But there's a better way of doing something like that if you want, if you were so inclined to do so. So we'll get into a little bit about variables. Variables basically store things to memory in the Java program. So first we're going to store a number to uh, memory, and this number will be an integer, which if you're familiar with maths, means any whole number. So to create a variable, we'll type int, which tells Java that we're creating an integer variable, and then we'll tell it what kind of name we want the uh, variable to have. So we'll type int number equals one. All right, so we've created an integer with the name number that is equal to one. So it's giving us a little thing down here because we actually haven't used number yet, but that's all right because we will use it right now. So we will do system dot out dot print line number. All right, so instead of you notice that we didn't put those uh, quotation marks in there. That means we're not printing out an actual string of text because if we put that in there, that would print out the word number. We're not doing that. We're printing out the variable number. So if we just put in number, it'll print out the uh, number one because num or one has been associated with number. If that doesn't make sense. That's all right. Um, so it printed out the number one because we've assigned that to number. So we'll do a few more variables. We'll say int number two equals six hundred two twenty-three. All right. So we've created another one. System dot out dot print line number two. All right. So there we go. Six hundred twenty-three. So you can also use these uh, over multiple times. It doesn't run out you know, of memory uh, the first time you've done it. So we'll type number again, and it should print out one after the 623. There we go. So you can use variables multiple times. That's very helpful if you want to print something out over and over again or reuse it. Uh, it cleans up your coding a lot and is very helpful in some other kinds of things. So now we'll create a string variable. Uh, string is any number or uh, any combination of words. Um, so you could either create a character variable or a string variable. You usually wouldn't be using characters, but um, we're 
going to do that real quick. So care, char, whatever you want to call it. Char is probably the better word to use. Char um, letter equals, and then we put the single uh, quotation marks around it, A. So there we have a stored to letter. Then we'll store system dot out dot print line letter. Alright. Oop, forgot my uh there we go. We have A. So we've stored that to memory as well. Now let's go ahead and focus on a string. String always has to be capitalized unlike the others, just because it's weird. String name equals uh let's say my name Adam. Alright. We'll do system dot out dot print line name. Alright, so now we have Adam. Now if you wanted to store uh say if you tried to store Adam in a character like that it would give you an error because you can't store more than one letter in a character variable. So you have to make sure you define the type of variable and stick with it. If you don't do that, you're going to get errors. Um, so you can also use a double. A double is any number with a decimal point. So we'll create double uh, number 3 equals 20.01. All right, so now we have a double system dot out dot print line number three, and the same thing goes with doubles and integers. If you were to try and put a um, a double into an integer, say we did sixty or one point six, we could do that, but it would also give us errors, and uh, it wouldn't work very well. And if you're actually just to do it, then uh, it wouldn't work. It would just shave off the extra uh, number there. If we did it here, it would just add an extra point zero to the end of that. Since it's a double, it can't just use an integer. It has to have some kind of a decimal point, so it'll just add that to the end. So we've gone ahead and learned about all the variables. And uh, if you want to learn how to use those variables in some kind of different way, then go ahead and click on to the next tutorial, and we'll get on to some more fancy stuff. See you guys.